Hi, I'm Anna Rutherford and I'm a professional artist and you're watching Explore Tulsa. <music> Puxatani Thiel saw his shadow last week, so that means six more weeks of winter, but not to worry because we're gonna turn up the heat with more Explore Tulsa. And this week we start the show with dreams of spring on the patio. Then we recognize champions. Followed by a little bird watching. Plus how to be a heart surgeon. Hi, I'm C.B. Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Thank you for making the most of the Groundhog's prediction by starting the rest of your winter with us on Explore Tulsa. Not to worry. March 20th will be here before you know it. And we'll be ready to kick off spring in style with a party on the patio. Uh, first, we're going to need a great looking place for C.B.'s party. And the guy to call on has to be Dustin at Tulsa Patio Skate. For 10 years, I painted cars, uh, automotive paint. Um, started out detailing cars, and I went on from there to uh, Doing, eventually doing the painting of the cars and then in the process of doing the paint work I uh, had a lot of projects at home that I like to work on and uh, I come from kind of a handyman background working with my father uh, whether it be sheetrock work or tile or anything like that and a lot of that's just kind of learned on my own so whenever I was doing the paint work I started a backyard project at my old house and uh, it, uh, it was a lot of fun I, I researched a lot I'd never done anything outdoors or quite as uh, adventurous as building my own pergola fireplace and concrete work and learned a lot about the uh, the process of setting up a concrete work and, uh, and that's that's where the, it all started but in the middle of the project I decided to go on a ski trip they're jumping these hills and, and doing all these different tricks and whatnot and I see one of them disappear over a hill and it's like I got this so I'm on my snowboard and I hit the jump not realizing what was on the other side of it and it was a long way started whaling my arms when I landed I uh, I landed with my arms out and this elbow just kind of continued on and it uh, completely shattered my elbow on my left uh, left elbow. So I ended up at the uh, physical therapy and uh, one of the ladies that asked me, she said, uh, so what do you do for fun? What are some of your activities? And I said, well, I do some handyman work on the side and building an outdoor patio. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And she said, really, I want one of those pergola things or pergolos or however you say, pergola? She said, yeah. I said, well, I can build you one. Kind of started building it just as kind of the handyman idea, and I needed the money because I was out job. Um, it went up, and I uh, made sure it was uh, done properly in the way it needed to be. And uh, the neighbors peeking over their fence the entire time I'm doing it. Uh, by the time it was all said and done, neighbors said, "Hey, get over here! I want you to build one for us." And slowly, it just kind of started from there. Um, next thing you know, people are asking about concrete work, and I was like, "Why? Well, I, I don't know how to do that," you know. I think I could do concrete on top of the pergolas and it just kind of snowballed from there and I had, uh, because I had broke my arm, I'd hired a mason to kind of help me finish the fireplace and so uh, that mason ended up becoming my mason when I started the company and uh, as things got busier I had to slowly work my way out of the actual construction into things and kind of put myself in a situation where I was visiting more with the customer and doing more sales and now I've got a uh, two full uh, crews doing masonry work for us. We've got an awesome crew doing the uh, lumber work for us, uh, awesome crew doing the concrete work for us, awesome electrician, plumber. I mean, I've been blessed with the right kind of contractors to help the, help the business move along. Working with different mediums over the years, uh, I've learned to let my brain uh, pretty much say anything's possible, anything's, and so if you can think it up, just build it, I mean, just start. And uh, as you're building things and creating things, you'll find that, at least I've found, that uh, sometimes mistakes can turn into the coolest you know, art pieces. And I've found over the years, you know, when I'm trying to achieve a certain look, and I've failed on that, um, it's opened up a whole new world, uh, working with different materials and, and learning different things that we've done over the years uh, with being able to laminate wood and do arched things, uh, saddle notching, and, uh, mortising and things of that nature, we've been able to come up with the uh, the pavilion and create a one-of-a-kind structure that we've now been building. It's 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 a pretty remarkable structure. I've never really given it too much thought. I mean, I'm I'm happy, and it, it, it it's I, it's amazing that I have run across people over the years that uh, teachers that I've had in fourth grade. I've done projects for them, and it's it's kind of amazing. You know, because, you know, here's this kid that was in all kinds of trouble in fourth grade and they never thought I'd turn out to be anything to, to actually build, uh, build on a structure or do anything of uh, any integrity. So it feels good. It, it does. 
That's really a great story. Dustin breaks his arm, turns it into a dream job. He really broke into the business when other people can't catch a break. Hey Trish, get it? Get Keep it. it up and you just might find a bone or two broken of your own. But if you want to get ready for good times on the patio, visit TulsaPatioscapes.com. Funny you should talk about our own backyard because in Bixby, the Spartans not only took their first state championship title in football, they were also recognized nationally by Max Prep's Tour of Champions. Mm -hmm. We'll share in all the excitement with the Army National Guard Award presentation to the Spartans. We will return with more Explore Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. I'm Scarlett Johansson of the Black uh, Widow in the Avengers movies. No, I'm not Scarlett Johansson. Hello, I'm Jimmy Trammell of the Tulsa World, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diana LeClaire from the Log Cabin Quilt Shop in Leonard, Oklahoma, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hi again. It's so great to know that you're still with us for more Explore Tulsa. As many of you know, Oklahoma decided to divide up its 6A high school football teams into two divisions this year, 6A Division I and 6A Division II. 6A Division II witnessed the rise of a new champion as the Bixby Spartans brought home the gold ball for the first time ever this season. And that wasn't all. Max Preps also recognized the Spartans this season with their annual national ranking trophy from the Army National Guard. It feels amazing, uh, not just like as an individual, but knowing that uh, the whole team did something together and just to uh, be state championships is awesome. It's an amazing feeling. Just to have the opportunity, especially as a senior my last season, 
to bring the team together, first year in 6A2, to almost go undefeated all the way through and win a state championship is a really big deal. It feels amazing. Even more importantly, it's our school's first football state championship, so a really big deal, and we're excited about that. I tell you what, it couldn't be, couldn't be more happy for all of our, our seniors and our players, just the hard work that they put in, and, and uh, seeing a plan come to fruition is fun. Well, I mean, it's an honor because, I mean, of course, a lot of people think, think of us as a small farm town, and so for us to be able to basically get on the map and be recognized nationally as 128th is a really big deal. It gives us kind of a notoriety to who we are and what we do here at Bixby. Well, I think it's really neat. You know, Max Preps is a group that uh, just continues to, to grow, and, uh, you know, everyone that nationwide uses them for stats. And so uh, a lot of recognition, so to get recognized by uh, an organization such as Max Preps is a big deal for our school, our community, our, our players, it's good. Well, I think it's a special deal. You know, we've got two guys on our staff that are uh, uh, retired military guys, and we put a big emphasis in our program on military appreciation and those that have served our country. And, uh, and I think just being uh, inter intertwined with the National Guard is it's a really cool deal, just another way that we can, uh, we can appreciate our troops. As someone who comes from a military family, it's an honor to know that people are out there fighting for us, so I get the opportunity to be a state champion and uh, that they're recognizing us for the things we do because uh, some people don't realize the hard work that goes into being a football, pro uh, football team and you know what it takes, but uh, I know what it takes to be a part of the Army and it's an honor that they're recognizing the hard work that we do because no one recognizes the hard work they do. What a great memory to hold on to. State champions. Those guys will be telling that season's story for the rest of their lives. Mm, and like you, they'll probably tell it over and over and over again. Keep it up and I'll never tell it to you again. Congratulations to the Spartans. May your championship stories live forever. I bet you tell your old stories everywhere you go. Mm -hmm, well, much. would you tell those stories while you were out bird watching? Well, yeah, but... I've never really been bird watching. Oh, then you're in for a treat because we're going to stop in at Wild Birds Unlimited and learn a little bit about bird watching when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Hello, I'm John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma. Our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. Hi, I'm Bob Carpenter, longtime Tulsa, nearly 40 years here, very proud of that. And you are watching Explore Tulsa. Oh, look, Trish, I think that I see a lazy Sisticola right here on Explore Tulsa. Oh, yeah, I think I see one too. But I highly doubt that you actually see one because they are primarily found in Africa. Well, to find out for sure, maybe we should probably check in with the experts at Wild Birds Unlimited Nature Shop. Well, actually there was already a store here in Tulsa and my parents had been customers there at that store for as long as we've been in Tulsa. And one day my dad went in, realized that the store was closing and was thinking, how in the world are we gonna buy birdseed now? He had actually, dream of his was always to own his own business. So he saw a great opportunity to go ahead and open a franchise. And in August of 07, opened this store. I 
I enjoy watching all of them really. Uh, one of my favorites is of course the chickadees and the, uh, the cardinals. And I would love to be able to get bluebirds. We do have some customers that are lucky enough to have bluebirds in their yard. We do recommend at least a some kind of an open feeder, especially for the cardinals, because they do not like to turn their head to eat. They have short stubby necks, so that they, they like to eat straight on. So a lot of times tray feeders or what we call our hopper feeder is what cardinals will go to. Whereas what some people see are like the tube feeders that the perches on those a lot of times do not accommodate for the cardinals. The thistle or niger is actually what we sell uh, for the finches. Their gold finches are the ones that really like that as, long, as well as your house finches. And then the sunflower that you mentioned, it's the universal seed basically. It's the one that everybody loves to eat. And you can definitely get a large variety of birds with that. And then there's also peanuts that attract in your nut eating birds, like woodpeckers, blue jays, um, nut hatches, and then there's fruit eating birds. So we do also have some blends that have fruit in them that draw in your mockingbirds, uh, wrens, like fruit, and so do the woodpeckers. We do have customers that come in and ask, where are the hummingbirds? Um, and then they typically, we tell our customers, the easy day to remember is April 15th when you're doing your taxes. Um, put those feeders out so that the birds as they're coming through can see them. Um, and it's generally about that time that we get the emails that are coming through up north. And it'll be later on in the summer that we'll get those that will actually stay here. It also depends too on weather patterns that will shift sometimes the migration over a little bit to where here in Tulsa we might not get as many. It's been great just being able to help others in Tulsa be able to discover just a refuge in their own backyard. And that's even somewhat one of our uh, slogans is to be able to see the birds and just the peace and calm that can come with that. So it's been, it's been great. You know, that's pretty awesome. Sarah's family would go out bird watching together and turn their hobby into a family business. To learn more about bird watching for yourself or to pick up a birdhouse or feeder, visit WBU.com to learn more. You know, these binoculars are also really good to make sure that we're not being watched or followed. Have you been watching conspiracy movies again, CB? Yeah, I watched the movie Persecuted last night, and Trish, you never know we might just know too much. There is a chance that I know too much, but you, I don't think so. Really? Because I happen to know that the president in Persecuted was played by Tulsa cardiologist, Dr. James Higgins. That could be enough right there, you know, for someone to... I don't know about that, but it is enough for us to make a stop at Dr. Higgins' office and learn more about him next when Explore Tulsa continues. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Clips, Definitive Technology, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. 
visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hi, I'm Buster Brown. I'm the owner of Bigsby Bicycles here in South Tulsa, and you're watching Explorer Tulsa. If you ever wanted to make it on the big screen, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Well, it was a quest for our next guest, Dr. James Higgins, who has done a pretty good job at accomplishing many goals on his list. And in the movie Persecuted, he actually got to check three off of his bucket list. Help produce a movie, act in a movie, and be the president of the United States. Actually, um, I played basketball in college and uh, at, at the time that this event occurred and we went to a national Division II basketball tournament. And on the way back, um, three of the physicians that were our team physicians came with us. Normally only one would, but because it was such a big deal that we were in this national tournament, my, my teammates wouldn't play cards with me because I could memorize things pretty well. So um, I played with the three physicians and took them for about 125 bucks, which back then and 72 is a lot of money. So the one of them, the surgeon actually for this clinic, said, what are you majoring in? And I said, electrical engineering. He says, why are you majoring in that? And he said, well, you, you don't want to be an engineer. You want to be a doctor. And I said, oh, I don't know if I can stand the sight of blood. So Dr. McCabe took me to the operating room to watch and watching him do one surgery and just said, man, I'm going to do this. Really, when I was 20 years old, I started a list of things I wanted to do before I died. And so one of the things that I initially put on is to be in a movie. And it took until I was 60, <laughs> 62 years of age to, to get that goal. I got a small part, but it, luckily it's an important part. It's the President of the United States. So I knew they probably couldn't cut my lines. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm very pleased with the film. I think it's very good entertainment. Um, it's what they call one of the best production value movies that several people have seen in a long time, meaning it didn't cost much to make, but the cinematography and the score, that is the music, are original and very and superb. I mean, they're very good. You know, just to do one scene, to do my scenes, which probably last a minute each in the movie, it takes four hours to film them. So, I mean, it, it's, it's a, it, I really have a lot of respect for guys like James Remar, who was in, you know, about every scene, and having to get in a different mood almost every day, and different makeup, maybe. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's not as easy a job as you think. Mine, mine was easy. I mean, seriously, I played one person. I didn't have to change my personality during the movie like James did. I didn't have to act differently. Um, I had one person to act like and he was consistently acting the same during the movie. So, you know, it was a relatively easy role. You never do it on, by yourself. I, never, I obviously didn't do this movie by myself. I mean, I couldn't. Um, I don't do cardiology by myself. I'm following people that have developed angioplasty and stents. I fortunately have a lot of patents on electrical devices because of my electrical engineering de degree. Um, but I didn't do those by myself either. Um, did them with the different companies, with the engineers from different companies, with different physicians that would help us in the investigation of how it was. So, you know, I think, you know, that's, that's key. I have all these individual things that I want to do, but a lot of them are individual things where I go someplace to meet people. I mean, one of the things I want to do is visit every country in the world. Now, that's going to be very hard to do, especially with all the unrest now. But, you know, it's, at least it's a goal. I've, I've got all of South America, all of Central America, every province in Canada, every state in the United States, every capital in the United States, you know, crazy stuff like that. But every place you go, you meet somebody that, that's fun. And I also tell people, at least in the United States, you know, I grew up in South Dakota, been to Arizona State, uh, been to Portland, Oregon. Uh, been to Boston, been to Rochester, New York, been to uh, in, in San, San Antonio, in Tulsa, and every one of those places I just mentioned where I spent time training, I could go and live. Every place I've been, I like, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, and I think the reason you do that is it's people. I mean, there's always someone there that's just like you or someone you can get along with, and usually there's more than one, there's usually 20. 
I just watched the movie last night on Netflix, and it was a lot of fun watching the movie knowing that you actually know one of the stars. Persecuted has recently been released on Netflix and many other places that you may buy or rent new movies. You know, Trish, I've been in a couple of movies, and that's a tough gig. Not only do you have to memorize your lines, know where to walk, and sometimes you've had to pretend to do things, they also make you sometimes chew gum at the same time. Stick around, we'll be right back for more Explore Tulsa. Hi, I'm Stephen Lee with Video Revolution. If you ever wanted great home theater sound and thought it was too difficult, I'm gonna show you today how simple it really is. What you're gonna find in the box is, of course, the Sonos soundbar that has nine speakers built into it. It's simple to set up. All you need are two cords, the power cord and the optical cord. One of the things about the Sonos soundbar that makes it so great with the nine speakers that are built into it, it gives you that cinema sound. Television speakers now are much smaller and people have a hard time hearing the dialogue in television. Okay, first, you're gonna take the optical cable that comes with it and plug it into the input of the sound bar. And then the other end, you will plug into the output of the television. Once your optical cable is plugged in, you're ready to go. You can go to Sonos' website for a free download of the app and with your iPad or your iPhone or Android phone, you can control the volume of your new Sonos soundbar. Go somewhere? No? It's as easy as that. Now that it's set up and ready to go, if you're ready for that home theater experience, just come in and see me and I'll show you how it's done. Be sure and join us next week when we meet the artist known as Rick of Rick's Leather at 81st and Harbor. Special thanks to Dustin Spellman for sharing his story on how a broken arm started Tulsa Patio Escapes. Well, thanks too to Coach Montgomery and the Bixby Spartan football team. Congratulations on your big year this year. Thanks too to Sarah at Wild Birds and Limited Nature Shops for showing us around, teaching us a little bit about bird watching too. Plus thanks to Dr. James Higgins. We wish you continued success with your movie Persecuted and each of your future adventures. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Let's remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal. Two locations, 3030 South Harbor and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. But we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.